Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super exciting video. I feel like I just say that every time. Today I do have a very good video for you. We are going to be doing a back to school stationery haul. Now if you don't know I am starting my degree in well basically between September and October. It opens in September but it officially starts in October so I am doing distance learning so it's really all up to me and this is something that I've really found a little bit challenging when buying things because I don't really know the gist of things. I'm doing a new course, I've never done it before obviously <laughs> um, but I am really excited to get going so I just thought today that I would show you my stationery bits that I have bought these are all things that I think I'm going to need. I do have a beautiful, beautiful planner that I really wanted to show you guys today, but unfortunately it is stuck in Royal Mail. So I won't be showing you that today, but I was thinking of maybe doing a planning for the like semester, planning for the term, um, where I kind of go through and set up my planner because that's something that I do want to do. I do think would be really helpful. So let me know down below whether that is something that you guys want to see. Um, and we will just get cracking. So I went to two places for these things today. I went to Tesco's first of all because I love Tesco. I've just realised there's some bits upstairs that I need to get. I went to Tesco and I also went to WH Smith's. I'm going to have to go grab those bits that are upstairs now and I will be right back. I went to Tesco's, got the majority of my bits from Tesco's, but there are a few things that I especially wanted from WH Smith, so we're just going to go through all of that now. The first thing I got was some pens. Now, I'm quite particular with my pens, but at the same time, I wanted to try out a few new styles. So I bought the classic Bic ones because I just know that they're just classic pens. And then I also got these Bic Crystal Fun ones. These are my favorite for color coding things, um, like writing specific things in different colors. Like these are the only colored pens that I use. I really like them because there's only four colors, but the colors that are in there are really cute. So you don't get, you don't have too much choice that you end up doing loads and loads of different colours, but you also have enough choice to the point that you're not just using like one colour for everything. These are my favourite. These are always a staple in my pencil case, but I'll have a pencil pot, I think, this year. Then I picked up these. These are the Uniball 5-Pack Fine Eyes. Now, I'm not sure whether I'm going to like writing with these. I tend, I myself have quite chunky big handwriting so i prefer like chunkier big sort of nibs like on pens just for anything that writes like really nicely i really like grace beverly always seems to be writing with these pens i have actually noticed um so i'm gonna give these a whirl and i do quite like the like more ink pens rather than the ink that's in ballpoint pens i don't know how to describe the difference but you guys i'm sure you know what the difference is like this is kind of more of like a runny ink and the other is kind of more like a gel ink so i do like how these are that sort of like more runnier ink i do th like think that most of the time it looks not a lot nicer and you know with um biros someone's just started putting the lawn you know like with biros sometimes you're writing and like the ink sort of stops these doesn't tend to normally happen with like pens like this. So anyway, I just got overexcited with pens and I wanted to try these. And these were also reduced because of the club card in Tesco. We love a Tesco club card. So then I got some highlighters from Tesco. I picked up these, which I'd never tried before. I'm very excited to try it. These are Stadatula, Stay, Stay to You guys know the brand. Um, these are their pastel highlighters. Normally I have the Stabilo Boss pastel highlighters but they didn't actually have them anywhere in tesco um and i was just desperate to get them that day so these actually look quite cute these are slightly different colors um to the others i will let definitely let you know um as to whether i prefer the others to this i actually wanted the thinner ones that i got for my giveaway um but these will do i'm sure and if i really hate them then I can get a different pack, but I just wanted to try these out and they were there. And I was like, really, is there gonna be too much difference? So yeah, we just went with these ones. Then I also picked up some Tipex. Mia has stolen a pack of this. Um, well, one of the Tipex from this, cause she wanted one. Um, but basically I wanted this because in my planner, if I write something wrong, I don't wanna be scribbling it out and making it really, really messy. So this is basically essentially for my planner rather than anything else. Um, in terms of notes. In terms of notes, if something goes wrong, like, I can kind of deal with it. 
Um, so this is, yeah, for my planner. So then moving on to the slightly bigger items, I picked up some A4 punch pockets, these are called. Who, no who really knows what these are called? Anyway, I picked these up just to pop things such as printing off the syllabus, etc, etc. Loose leaf paper, just to go straight in this so that I don't lose anything. Then I picked up this massive thing of post-it notes. I've been watching a lot of these videos and post-it notes seem to be incredibly expensive. I think this was about six pounds in Tesco, which is quite expensive for just some paper. But at the same time, I know these are good quality and there was a good right range of like sizes and stuff. And I really liked the ones in the middle. They're actually lined. So when I'm actually writing stuff, I can kind of obviously see the lines this is apparently the miami collection um just love the colors um yeah lots of different sizes lots of different colors will be really helpful and handy for lots of things kind of just sort of jotting in textbooks adding extra notes etc then i picked up some paper now i am going to be using the style study cornell pad um because i personally love that it's exactly how i did my notes um it's just the best quality it's just what i really love to use but sometimes I do just want to use lined paper. So for that, I picked up this notepad, which I have had the A5 one before, and I personally love it. The paper quality is pretty decent. And just look at that, like craft paper with that gold. It's just beautiful. This is just for general like jotting down. I'm sure I'll find use for it, but I just knew that it would be really handy. Then I also picked up a refill pad because I feel like you can never have enough refill pads. This is just a really like simple pucker one. Um, nothing stand out really about it. It is rather thick though, which I quite like because you do get quite through quite a lot of paper as a student. So I wanted to make sure that I wasn't having to constantly rebuy them. Also, I feel like it just feels nice when they're quite thick. So, yeah, just picked up this A4 refill pad. Paper quality is decent. I mean, probably could be a lot better. Um, but for what it is and for what I'm going to use it for, it's fine. That was basically all I got from Tesco. I was pretty restrained when it came to buying new things. I knew that I had sort of bits here and there um, because I use stationery on the daily anyway. Um, so I knew I had bits here and there. I didn't want to go crazy overboard. Um, but there were still a couple of things that I really, really wanted to get. So first of all, I picked up these Sharpie S gel pens. I have seen, like, for some reason, loads of, like, memes about how good these pens are. Not, like, memes, but you know when people, like, screenshot things and, like, put it onto, like, Facebook and, like... And I also have been watching a lot of, like, back-to-school hauls where people say, like, obviously what their favourite, like, pens are, etc, etc. So I picked up the Sharpie S gel because I really want to try them. These could be my favourite ever new pens. I have no idea. But people are saying that this just basically makes them want to write and write and write and write. And that's always a good thing when you are writing. So yeah, I picked these up. These were quite expensive. This stuff in WH Smith was more pricey definitely than it was in Tesco. But I just really wanted to try it. So I just thought, kind of worth it. Then I picked up some page markers. So, so I know I have kind of like the smaller... Um, post-it notes in the post-it note pack but these page markers are going to be really really handy because I love to use these for yeah putting stuff in textbooks um, marking pages on different things I don't really like to fold corners of pages and stuff like that to kind of notify like what page I'm on so I thought these would be really handy and these also come in like these little plastic like desk like pot things you can like put them and they like stand up which i thought was not really necessary but kind of cool all of my work is essentially from textbooks like i'm gonna be reading a lot and really having to mark through things in a textbook i do have like some online lectures and tutorials but they're not as many as if you were actually going to like a brick uni so the majority of my stuff is from textbooks so i want to make sure that i'm noting where my pages are where important information is for exams for revision etc last two things i got some a4 plastic subject dividers i said in my haul on study study that i much prefer plastic ones they last so much longer they don't rip they don't tear obviously plastic isn't great but with the paper ones you're constantly rebuying them because you're constantly ripping them and i really really hate that so the way that i decided to organize my stuff for first year which is basically half of first year because i'm doing one module over the whole year instead of two modules in one year i'm just gonna put them all in a binder so 
I picked this one up from W.A. Smith. These are my favourite binders, which is why I got them for the giveaway. These just are what I will always use forever and always. I got this in the shade Pastel Lilac. There were loads and loads of different ones. They kind of have their staple colours, which I've had before, of like pastel, pink, purple and blue. But they're a lot brighter than this. And this one was kind of like the pastel -y one. I originally picked up a purple because I couldn't find the blue. And then I saw the blue because I wanted blue for business. B for business. See? Um, but then I thought that it was a bit too bright. And now I'm so glad I've actually bought this lilac one. Which looks like blue basically. Um, so I'm really glad I got this one. Because I just want it to look cute. Um, and what I'm going to do is put all my work from first year in here. Which we will see. It might end up being a little bit too much, but essentially I have seven blocks um, for year one, which again is like half of a year. Um, so I needed some dividers that had more than, well, seven or more. Really annoyingly, I really desperately wanted to get the, again, the ones I got for the giveaway, which were the pastel ones, but they only had six dividers. And obviously I need seven, so I have seven blocks. Um, so I had to get this, which is a bit more colourful, a bit brighter. Um, but, you know, we can we can deal with that. Um, but yeah, that is essentially everything I got. Like I said, it didn't go ham because I already knew that I had a lot of this stuff. I do still have my planner coming. I kind of need to get a pencil pot. And I also kind of want to get one of those things where you put paper in, you know, I kind of like stands that you just put paper in, um, just because I feel like that'll be really good for any like loose leaf stuff that I get given or print out. Not that I'm, I say that like I'm going to get given stuff. I'm not going to obviously get given anything because no one's here, but um, for things that I print out, etc, etc, it might be handy to have that. But I couldn't find any that I liked, so I, I'm going to still be on the hunt for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up. Smash subscribe so you can see the rest of my business, enterprise, uni journey. Um, and I will see you guys next week with a brand new video. Bye!